General Phil Breedlove is here, retired U.S. Air Force, Supreme Allied Commander of NATO, 2013 to 2016. Uh, General, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Um, if you just sort of look at the strategic picture, we zoom out, not politically, but purely militarily, of the, of the major players, Hamas, uh, Iran, President Biden, the United States, and Israel. And you pick a date, say, two or three months ago. It seems as though that Hamas and Iran are in a better and stronger position today, and the United States and Israel and President Biden are in a weaker one than a couple of months ago. Am I wrong? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. It's been a while, and good to see you again. So I think you're reading it pretty well. Here we have a conflict that is carried forward in a way that the world opinion is getting more strident against it. And frankly, we have to remember that this is exactly what Iran and Hamas wanted. Hamas knew they couldn't beat Israel on that day that they went in and, and did all the horrific things they did. They wanted to kick the hornet's nest and then elicit a response and then use the world opinion to accomplish their objectives against Israel. And it's working fairly well. Look, there's always fair criticism of Israel. I've, I live there. I've covered the conflict. No army is perfect. But you've been on the other side of these airstrikes. You've been in the command and control centers ordering them. You've been the one dropping the bombs. Uh, you were the one ordering uh, bombs to be dropped to protect me when I was in Libya. Um, we took great solace in that. Thank you. Um, but I, the, the criticism and the, the standard that Israel is being held to, uh, as tragic as the aid workers being killed is, is it a fair standard? Is it the same standard applied to other civilized armies? So may I just say that this, right up front, this is horrible, and what happened is horrible. These things happen in war. I was listening to the gentleman make it look like Israel went out to specifically bomb this convoy. I think that's a really bad notion, and he's just angry. Uh, Israel has stepped up to what happened here. They are going to run an investigation, and I think these things will take their course. And before we get too critical, again, acknowledging this is a horrible result, but before we get to too critical, we need to stand in front of a, a mirror as Americans. Our hands are not clean in this. We hit doctors in Afghanistan, and, and there are these kinds of mistakes that happen in war. But there is a difference between a mistake and a crime, and I think that the investigation will find that out here, and we need to be patient and let that happen. But if you think a war like this is going to go on without something like this happening from time to time, I think you don't understand what we've always called the fog of war. You think about what's happening um, at the White House right now. Muslim leaders have declined the White House invitation for Ramadan. Um, they demanded a meeting on policy. Uh, we, we've seen, we see now this continued push, um, not now just by the far left, but by the center left, uh, against President Biden, who seems to want to have it both ways. And we said this, uh, pick a lane, either come down on Israel and say, we're conditioning aid, we're holding back fighter planes, we're holding back bombs until you stop, or take the handcuffs off and say, go rescue your hostages, just purely from a military standpoint, and you've had to you've had to advise presidents um, on these things. Is the middle of the road uh, trying to have it both ways that the Biden administration wants to have? Is that even possible? That's a really tough road to try to drive. Um, we don't have enough time today, Leland, but you, we need to go back to what our national interests are in this area. What does Iran mean to America as a threat? What does Israel mean to America as an ally in the area? And from our strategic interests, we look at the ways and means of how we will accomplish a strategy forward. Now, right now, I, I really don't see that conversation being held. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.